So why should you organize your Kickstarter project folder now? Well, an organized project folder will first save you time. Having an organized, intuitive file structure is going to save you time looking for your files. You know, Grandma used to say, a place for everything and everything in its place, and who are we to argue with Grandma? Likewise, having an organized folder structure is going to protect your mental energy from unnecessary stress. In addition to saving time, getting organized at the outset of your Kickstarter project is going to free up that mental energy that's better put to your creative efforts rather than spent, wasted, looking for files or trying to get yourself organized or wondering if you're missing something. You only have so much mental energy to, to use on things during the day. I'd rather you work on your art and use it on your art than sort of these mundane tasks that can really drain your energy and drain your brain power. A Kickstarter project is stressful enough, so I want to save you from feeling like you're losing your mind when you can't find a file that you're sure you're already made, but it seems to have completely vanished. Trust me, I've been there. I'm sure you have too. It's no fun. What this full organized project folder is also going to do is it's going to provide you with a framework for Kickstarter success. If this is your first Kickstarter, I guarantee you we're going to cover some things in this training that you haven't thought about. There's power in reserving a place for everything needed to have a successful Kickstarter, even if it'll be weeks or months before you even put anything there. But just knowing that there's a place for it and seeing all of the things that you could potentially uh, create for your Kickstarter projects will get those ideas going and really provide you with a strong framework for success. And finally, an organized Kickstarter project folder will give you a strong starting point. But that by no means means that this is something that's set in stone or shouldn't be edited and made your own. In fact, I've gone back and reworked this project structure several times. In fact, every time I run a successful campaign, I go back and revisit my project folder structure template to make sure that it's including everything. And Kickstarter changes, and I change, and I grow as a creator. And so each year, I try to make this better and better and more appropriate for the campaigns that I run and, and what I've learned to be successful. And so the great news is you don't have to uh, start from scratch. You can start with what I have and take it from there. But uh, truth be told, I don't actually fill up every single folder for every single campaign that I run. But I use this as a starting point and then I edit and make it my own and customize for the individual campaigns that I'm running. And that's something that I hope you do as well. Now, if you've already started a Kickstarter project folder for your project, well, that's great. Uh, you should still watch this training because you might find that you like my structure better and just want to replace what you have with what I have. Uh, or there might be elements of your project folder structure that you've set up that you that uh, you like, as well as some new ones that you'll learn by watching this that you hadn't even thought of adding to your Kickstarter project that you'll want to in include and adapt. So take what you need from what I've presented here and leave what you don't need. And the other third reason is that you might confirm that your current folder structure is already awesome and completely set up for success and just uh, feel good moving forward with that. So where should you store this project folder? Well, for me, I prefer Dropbox as the destination for my Kickstarter project folders. I love Dropbox because I often split my time between multiple devices, multiple desktops, an iPhone, an iPad. And so Dropbox is, syncs to all of those devices and is saved in the cloud. Uh, it also makes it super easy to share files and folders with other team members, and it's one of the tools that I use every single day in my creative business. That said, there is nothing here that is Dropbox specific, so if you don't use Dropbox or prefer something else, uh, you can do that. You can also put this folder in Google Drive or Box.net, or even just on a local folder saved on your hard drive. But you're going to put a lot of valuable stuff in here, so I do recommend a cloud-based storage system. The best part of this training is that I've actually done all the work for you. A download of this folder structure is included with this training.